Austin City Council taking steps to protect the city from wildfires. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jennifer Sanders. And I'm Daniel Marie, and this was one of more than 100 topics city leaders took up today. The council approved the Parks and Recreation Department's Land Management and Climate Vulnerability Plan in order to do things like address wildfire risk and also preserve native species. Councilmember Allison Alter said the plan will be a set of guidelines for city staff for the city's more than 10,000 acres of open space, including parks and green belts. It is going to provide us the, the, the tools and the guidance that we need to make sure that we have access to parks and preserves for many years to come, even with climate change. And City Council also approved requiring commercial composting collection at all multifamily communities like apartments starting October of next year. Now, these properties must offer one gallon of composting capacity per unit. Large shared containers may be used to comply with that requirement. Eligible properties can get up to $3,000 in rebates to start or expand composting services before this goes into effect. And an incentive agreement with NXP, a Dutch-based semiconductor manufacturer, was also unanimously signed off on today by the council. The agreement is to expand its chip manufacturing capacity in Austin. Now, NXP has been in Austin since 1974 and already has two facilities which employ nearly 3,000 people. Austin City Council members asked the city to revise its partnership to include a child care fund, which was brought to the council today. Our Grace Reader will have more on that impact a little later tonight at 10. And City Council also approved members of the new Austin Police Reserve Force. This force is made of retired officers that have gone through training and retired honorably with the goal of serving when big events happen like ACL. Now there are still many items City Council is discussing, so stay up to date with some items we're keeping our eyes on, including police oversight implementation and affordable housing for health care workers. You can find that all under the story at KXAN.com.